Here is how you can take your ChatGPT prompts from good to great. There are so many golden nuggets in this one, you definitely don't want to miss it. Honestly, I could actually sell this as a mini course. It's that powerful. I'm going to share with you a simple eight step ChatGPT prompt framework. And at the end, I'll even show you a real example of this framework in action. And if you want all the prompts, you will find it in the description below. But this powerful framework comes with a warning. And if you stick around till the end of this video, I will share that warning with you. Lots of people complain that ChatGPT's output is rather generic. Whereas the truth is their prompts are actually generic. And that is why they get a generic output in return. But today we are going to change all that. Here is the framework. So step one is a role with a speciality. Start by giving it a role, but give it a speciality as well. Most people just give it a role and this tends to be too broad. For example, you are a copywriter. This is too broad, but what you can say is you are a copywriter and you specialize in writing high converting sales copy. Can you see the difference? Step two is a task. Be clear and concise and tell it exactly what you need. If you are trying to create a sales page for your dental practice, tell it that you want to create a sales page for your dental practice. Step three is a desired outcome. Here again, go into detail by explaining what it is exactly that you are looking for. Example, you want sales copy, but what should the sales copy actually achieve? If you want the sales copy to be high converting and to actually generate leads, then that is your desired outcome. Step four is reference text. This is so simple, yet so many people miss this. Give it some guidelines on how to write and also how not to write. Here is an example. Strictly write everything at a sixth grade reading level. Write in a simple, witty and casual tone, but be mature and professional. We are professionals and a business after all. Write everything in the first person. Do not make your copy robotic and generic. An example of a robotic and generic copy would be, and then give it an example. So here I'm stating, Hello there, welcome to Miami Dental. We're so excited to have you here. Are you in search of a reliable and trustworthy dental practice in Miami? Look no further than Miami Dental, your go-to destination for all your dental needs. Now you can tell that that is really robotic and it sounds AI generated. Instead, what it should actually read is, looking for a smile that turns heads in Miami, I've got just the thing at Miami Dental. Our dental veneers are more than a quick fix. They are a scroll stopper. Imagine flashing a smile that's straight out of a Hollywood movie right here in Miami. And the best part, it's not just a dream. At Miami Dental, we specialize in crafting that perfect show-stopping smile. So forget the ordinary and step into a world of dazzling smiles. After all, why blend in when you were born to stand out? Let's make your smile the talk of the town. Now, can you see the difference? And guess what? Both of these were actually written with ChatGPT. Just that in the first example, I gave it a broad prompt. Whereas in the second example, I actually gave it more info to work with. Now, what this is actually doing, it is giving it a tone and a style to use. But not only that, it is also giving it some examples as well. But sometimes what happens is, you will notice that ChatGPT starts with one tone and then as the copy goes on, it changes its tone. So you will notice that I started with the word strictly. By using this one word, it tends to keep ChatGPT on track. You can actually go one step further and actually use industry leaders as a reference. So for example, if you are writing some copy, you could actually use legendary copywriters like Dan Kennedy. Or if you are doing some marketing copy, you could actually use someone like Billy Jean and use their style as a reference. And then all you need to do is ask it to write in their style. What you can also do is just copy and paste in some of your previous text. So if you have written blog posts or email copy or any type of written content, you can feed it in here and ask ChatGPT to write it in your very own personal style. This will get ChatGPT to write just like you. Step five is format. State what format you want your output in. So for example, ask it to add in headings, subheadings, paragraphs, and bullet points where necessary. 
I don't know about you, but I find it so difficult to read text that is just one block of unformatted text. So by asking it to format the copy, this makes it so much easier to read. And step six is questions. This indicates to ChatGPT that further information can be requested if needed. Example, feel free to ask as many questions as you like in order to get the best possible outcome. Number seven is data. Feed it some of your own data to give it even more context. Example, if you have the paid version, you could feed it a PDF or give it a website URL as well. But even if you don't have the paid version, you could actually just copy the text from your website and then paste it into ChatGPT. And step eight is break it down into smaller bite-sized instructions. Sometimes if we give it too many instructions all at once, it tends to miss stuff. So if you have a lot of instructions, break it up. Give it one instruction and then ask it if it understands. Then once it replies, give it the next instruction. That's it. Now you have an eight-step ChatGPT prompt framework. What you will notice throughout this framework is I am giving it as much info to work with as possible. Remember, the less we give ChatGPT, the less we will get in return. Then it tends to hallucinate. And that is when it becomes generic and robotic. Now, let me give you a real example of this framework in action. Now, as you will notice, this is a pretty long prompt and it has different instructions within it. So let's break it down into smaller bite-sized instructions. So here is prompt one. You are a copywriter. You specialize in writing high converting sales copy. I want you to write a sales page for my dental practice called Miami Dental. We specialize in dental veneers. My goal is to get more bookings and I want to use a free dental assessment as a hook to get patients to book an appointment. Do not write anything. Just reply yes if you understand. And let's try it out. So it simply replied yes. So now I'm giving it my second prompt. Strictly write everything at a sixth grade reading level. Write in a simple, witty and casual tone. But be mature and professional. We are professionals and a business after all. Write everything in the first person. Do not make your copy robotic and generic. An example of a robotic and generic copy would be, and then this goes over the same thing that I read earlier. Now, if you had samples of your own copy, you would just replace it and use it in here. And then I further state, format the copy in headings, subheadings, paragraphs, and bullet points where necessary. And then again, I go on to state, do not write anything, just reply yes if you understand. Let's try it out. And again, ChatGPT simply replies with yes. Now let's give it the third part of the prompt. Feel free to ask me as many questions as you like in order to get the best possible outcome. Here are my business details and the service I am looking to sell. And then I state business name, Miami Dental, service, dental veneers. And let's try it out. Now, as you can see, it has replied and it says, Great, to create the most effective sales copy for Miami Dental's dental veneer service, I have a few questions. And then it asked me for a USP, target audience, client testimonials, details about the free dental assessment, pricing and payment options, photos and visuals, call to action, any additional services or promotions, tone and style preferences, competitors. And then it further states, the more detailed your answers, the better I can tailor the sales copy to meet your specific needs and goals. Now, as you can see, these are some really great questions. Because if I answer all of these questions accurately, this is going to make the copy tailored specifically for me. Now, I just answered some of these questions just to give it something to work with. But obviously, you will want to go into detail and answer all of them correctly. Now, as you can see, it has created my copy. But what I have noticed is it still used the word welcome to, which I do not like. So what I will do, I will just ignore that. I will just start from Miami Dental, where your smile becomes a masterpiece. And then it says the Miami Dental difference, high tech personalized veneer transformations. And as you can see, it created headings and subheadings and it created paragraphs and it also added in some bullet points here as well. And then it says, why choose us? And then it goes on, no strings attached, free dental assessment, ready to shine. 
Now, if I wanted to change this to write in a specific person style, I can simply ask it to rewrite this copy in the style of Billy Jean. Now, as you can see, this is actually much better and I prefer this version instead of the version earlier. And this sounds just like Billy Jean and it has done the same thing, given me headings, subheadings, paragraphs, bullet points. Now, I'm just going to read some parts of this just to show you that this is in Billy Jean style. Calling all high flyers. This is your veneer moment. You are on the grind 24-7, building a legacy. Your smile should be your badge of honor. Bold, beautiful, unapologetically you. TikTok efficiency. We know your time is gold. Our process, swift, seamless, no dilly-dallying. Power smile. Command attention in every room. From the office to the gram. Your smile, your rules. Confidence overload. Walk into any room like you own it. Your new smile will back you up. The no bull offer, free dental assessment. No catch, no gimmicks, just a straight up comprehensive dental assessment on the house. Let's map out your smile journey, zero cost, zero obligation. Now this sounds exactly like Billie Jean. And at the end it actually states, this version of the copy is designed to be more energetic and direct, in line with Billie Jean's dynamic and captivating marketing style, aiming to engage and motivate the target audience to take action. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you know there is still one more step that I would take to make this copy even better. And that is, I will actually ask it to act as the buyer persona and critique this copy. Now, as you can see, it is going ahead and it is critiquing this copy and it is going to give me questions that I would have never even thought of had I not given it the simple prompt. And lastly, I will simply ask it to implement all your suggestions. And as you can see, it is implementing all my suggestions and this is going to make my output even better. Now, as I stated earlier, if you want all the prompts, you will find the link to these prompts in the description. So you now have a framework that will make your ChatGPT prompts great. Now, at the beginning, I mentioned a warning and this is really important. And that warning is, don't just copy and paste these prompts. If you do that, you are actually doing yourself a disservice. I want you to play around with these prompts. Use these prompts just as a guide. Tweak it and make it your own. This will allow you to write better prompts in the future and it will also allow you to get an output that is tailored for you and your needs. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about ChatGPT and AI, click on this video. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you on the next video.